Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back. Uh, I'm not going to use my mic in this video, but uh, we are going to do stored data in MongoDB. So free code camp, back in development. This is going to be MongoDB, learn you Mongo. So again, once you get to, um, once you get up to 16, you know, just uh, pause the video and then come back. And uh, once you have the Mongo server, so once you get up to 19, I'm not going to go over how to, you know, set up your server and everything. It's pretty self-explanatory in here. Um, so let's start out with the exercises. I'm going to change directory to my desktop and show you guys. All right. Um, so I created a directory called Mongo. I'm going to change directory into there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and touch a package.json as well as a program.js. I'm going to open this up with my blind, binding to Sublime. And here in this package.json, I'm just going to give it a name of learn you Mongo. And I'm going to give it some dependencies, just one. And this dependency is going to be MongoDB. This is just going to give us, uh, it's going to be a shell basically to perform our queries against. Perform our queries on. So I'm going to run npm install dash dash save to uh, fetch Mongo from the registry. Awesome. So we should have it at this point. There it is, MongoDB. So we see everything that's going on in here. All right, so um, cool. Uh, then I'm gonna click on what I need to new, new, what I need to do now is run Mongo, which is gonna run the server, so that we can actually insert and and uh, make sure this is working. And yeah, there it is. So it's listing on port 27017. So I'm going to type in learn you Mongo. And we're going to go to, um, we're going to start with find. Um, so let's get started. Uh, what this wants us to do is um, we're going to use the database learn you Mongo. And we're going to use the parrot collection of final documents where age is greater than the first argument passed to your script. And that first argument is going to be process.argv2. So let's go ahead and try this out. First, we need to bring in um, the Mongo client. So we're gonna say var mongodb is equal to require mongodb dot mongo client. It's gonna give us access to the client. And so we're gonna say mongodb dot, um, it's going to be dot connect. And then we pass this a URL. So we're just gonna make this URL um, MongoDB localhost, and then it's going to be, make sure I got this right, um, learn you Mongo, and just for the heck of it, I'll do 27017. All right, so that's our URL, so we're going to pass it, pass it the URL, and then the second function is going to be a function, it's going to be a callback function that's going to be passed to us. And this is going to have an error or a DB that we're connected to. So we're just going to say, if there's an error, then throw the error. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to use this DB to query against this collection of parrots. So we're going to say db.collection, the name of the collection, parrots. And then we're going to say dot .find. And the predicate, again, is going to be uh, where age is... Um, greater than, so we're going to do age, greater than, and then it's going to be, we just store this variable for, um, uh, what is it going to be, age, and then we just say process.argv2, where age is greater than age, and then what, what that's going to return to us, that's going to either give us back an error or documents, okay. So, um, um, so we're going to say if there's an error, we want to throw that error. All right. Else, uh, what we want to do, make sure I got this right in here. Dot find. And then function. Dot find. I think that's it. Yeah, that's what's wrong. Okay. 
dot find and we need to call two array on here to actually give us an array and then all right yeah all right two array Let's see what's on here yeah two array and then from that I have a function error documents otherwise I'm just gonna respond with the documents so let's go ahead and run this we'll say learn you mongo verify program.js see what that gives us back oh we forgot to do one more thing we need to actually um, close out our resources so we're going to do db.close so let me run this again all right uh, so we got close I think let me see what we did wrong um, MongoDB localhost process.rv look again find foo to array function error documents not correct okay mongodb slash slash local host 2.7 learn new mongo function error db db collection parrot stop find where the age is greater than age okay to array function error documents what are we actually getting here in this document store let's look Let's run this again. Oh, I know what we did wrong, guys. We actually have to parse int on here because this might not always be it. This is probably a string. So that's what we're doing wrong. So let me log out my documents that we're getting back from the document store. Cool. So yeah, got that right. So it's kind of intensive. I'd say Mongoose is a lot faster than that, but whatever. Uh, so let's try it out. Learn you Mongo again. And we're going to go to find project. It's going to be very similar. All we need to do here is um, actually after our query, uh, before calling to array, we're going to specify the parameters that we want. So we want name, age, but and ID. Okay, so I'm going to say, we're going to say name one, which means we want an age one, and then we want ID, it's going to be zero. So go ahead and run this one more time. There we go. And so that that's just going to return to us um, these fields. That's all it does. So let's run learn you Mongo, and we're going to do an insert now. Let's get rid of this. So we're not going to use most of this. And so what we can do, we're going to use the users collection, and we just want to. What do we actually want to insert? Okay, we want to insert a first name and a last name. Uh, right, and then. We want to JSON stringify the object and print it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to say var first name, or actually we're going to create a document right here. It'll be easier. And so we'll say first name is going to equal process.argv2. That's the first argument. And last name is going to be the next argument passed. That's what they say, process.argv3. Okay, so that's our doc that we're going to insert. And uh, otherwise, so we're going to do db.collection. It's going to be the user's collection. And then we're going to perform an insert. We're going to issue this insert query to our database. It's going to accept an object. And so it's gonna, we're going to give it first name. It's going to be, actually, no, we're just going to insert, uh, my bad. We're just going to insert this doc. Um, and then after that, make sure. So insert doc. And then, um, what else do we need to do? Okay, and then after that, this is gonna be a function with an error and um, a resource. And, uh, spell it out, I don't like abbreviating that. Okay, so we'll say, if there's an error, let's handle this error, so let's throw it. Otherwise, uh, we're just gonna console.log json.stringify the doc. So let me make sure this is good to go. And that's our else, that's our insert. And then let me close out our resources. So db.close. Let me make sure I got this right. Let's verify it. And that works. All right, cool. So they have pretty similar setup. I've done this before, so I kind of remember what I'm doing. But um, you're handling the errors all across the board. You're getting this document, and you're going to store it. Uh, but you know you could have done this as you could have done this as a uh, you know you could have done you know first name is first name whatever um, doesn't matter 
So, anyways, let's move on. We're gonna type learn you Mongo. We're gonna do one more for this. We're gonna do so. We did those three. We'll do update. Okay. So let's get rid of this and let's see what this wants us to do. So we need to update with the username of tina.time and the database name will be available via process.argv2. Okay, all right, so let's actually do var db is gonna be equal to process.argv2. We're gonna to connect to this db or actually we'll say var URL. Um, uh, actually, no, you know what it is, it's this. It's uh, var URL is gonna be equal to mongodb localhost and then I remember this it's a uh, process dot rv2 that's kind of not the best exercises but anyways uh, and we're going to query from the users collection so we're going to do db.collection it's going to be the users collection and then from there we want to perform an update so we want to say where this username is equal to tina time okay and then make sure I got this right okay and then from there, we're going to perform a set operation. And this is going to take in what we want to update. So we just want to set the age to be 40. And then here's our callback that we need to handle. So this is going to be function, an error, and a document. So we're just going to say if there's an error, let's go ahead and throw this error. Um, otherwise, then let's just console.log the document that we've updated. And then let's dispose our connection to the database. db.close. Let's go ahead and run this. Learn Mongo Verify program.js. All right, cool. So that indeed works. They have pretty similar setup uh, than us. Pretty, it's actually the exact same thing. So uh, I'll do a part two of Learn you Mongo, but hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for uh, supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.